Good morning from the little bean. Were you so excited that I came over here? You were just waggling your little tail. Where's Armani? Did you take up the whole chair? He's hiding under this table. Good morning, Armani. He's so crazy. So it did warm up a little bit, but we do have the heater running and it is 74 degrees. It feels great. And it's 74 degrees in the house, so it actually works. So that's pretty awesome. I am kind of just getting everything done today that I didn't get done for the past for forever, basically. So I finished doing the editing the video, getting the video up, that's, that's going up right now. I'm also doing a ton of laundry that I needed to do. Gave Armani a bath. I'm getting ready to make Tim's breakfast for the week, so I don't have to worry about that. And I haven't eaten yet because I've been busy doing stuff. So I'm going to eat this um, yakisoba noodles. And they're... I don't know how delicious this is going to be for breakfast. But it's shrimp flavored. And look at these shrimp. Like, what? What is that? It looks kind of crazy. Um, I don't know. So we'll go on this. we'll go on this little journey together. And we'll see how this tastes. <laughs> I'll let you know. Okay, so step number one was to put the weird shrimpy stuff in the bottom of the container and then um, put some water in there. So I'm gonna put it in the microwave now and see how this turns out. Okay, so this is the final product. It's It really just looks like ramen noodles. Um, whoa, whoa, whoa. Not sure why I didn't think that was gonna happen. Yeah, it just looks like ramen noodles. I don't even know where my little shrimpy guys went. I had like three little shrimpy guys gone. They're lost in the sea of noodles, but hopefully I'll see them soon. <laughs> but I'm gonna try it, so. All right, lunchtime. Okay, I found the shrimp, and that's the shrimp right there on the fork. Shrimp isn't really supposed to be that color, so that worries me, but other than that, it's pretty good, and it's a little bit spicy, and I like it. So um, there you go, there's my review of Dollar Yakisobi noodles, yum. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm in the kitchen. <laughs> There is a wasp in the kitchen, like, here's, this is how far away it is, but, holy crap, get out of here, what do I do? I don't know what to do. He's just, like, staring at me. <laughs> I don't know. Ah! Oh, this is terrible. I don't even know how he got in here, but this is terrible. Look how big it is. It's huge. I don't know what day of the week it is. I think it's Tuesday. Hello. I'm home from work now. Look at the time. It's going on 6 o'clock. Yay, and it's like dark out. What? what? Come on. That's not very fun. But, I guess we'll just stay in and, and, I don't know, watch a movie or something? We got a rotisserie chicken to eat for dinner because we're trying to be healthy, but I already ate a candy bar, so uh, I think I failed with that one. Here's the rotisserie chicken that we got. Oh, I already started cutting it. I think it looks pretty good. I like it's, it. It's a little bit greasy. Yeah, that's what it, that's the healthy part. Oh. We're gonna watch a special edition of the Museum Mysteries, Mysteries of the Museum. Yeah. I think it's a creepy Halloween episode. I know it's past Halloween, but still creepy Halloween. They just started the first story on this, and the character, the person who they're describing in this, his name is Roland Doe. Roland Doe. As it turns out, Roland Doe was the inspiration for the movie The Exorcist. Who knew? I'm glad they changed the name though. We've just been sitting here watching TV and I was just thinking about you guys. So we can say hi. How's it going? Yeah. So, uh, got 36 Kit Kats and we're down to like six of them because I've been eating them all. Two at a time. And it's awesome. Probably shouldn't be doing that though. We've been watching It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia and I always forgot how funny that show is. Hysterical. And I'm glad there's not a laugh track too because that makes it even better because it's I choose. I choose when to laugh. You guys are touching butts. Best friends touching butts. So we got this People magazine and on the back it's got the different sizes of the new iPhones. And uh, I'm sitting there thinking like, all right, so it's not that big. This is a 4S and that's a 6 and this is a 6 Plus, which I guess is like way bigger. But like, how do you really tell what size this is? Like, you just like fold the magazine over and then you're like, Hello? Yeah. Just testing out this phone here, just seeing how giant it is. It's pretty giant. It doesn't feel that giant. I mean, I am holding a magazine up next to my head, but <laughs> I don't know. Should we cut this out and like carry it around like... So people think we have an iPhone 6 Plus? Yeah. We'll yeah. We'll put it in a case and then it'll be like... Totally. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just using my iPhone 6 Plus. <laughs> I think that's a great idea. Oh yeah, I don't have to slide to unlock anymore. I just hold my thumb there, it's, and then it unlocks. 
Yeah. Is it done yet? No. I wish I knew how to do After Effects so that I could be like, wink. Yeah. That would be really hard, by the way. You should just get a phone at that point. <clears throat> yeah. I, I'm, I am going to go to bed, though. It's yeah. Late. Yeah. So I will see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the 